area's booming housing market is injecting new life into the Banning Lewis Ranch neighborhood. Yeah, new home construction is taking off after slumping for a few years because of the 2008 recession. New at 6 tonight, KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison shows us the good and bad about the renewed interest in this northeast side neighborhood. Kimberly Gillespie and Ken Griswold bought a home in Banning Lewis Ranch this spring. It was expensive, but it's still affordable and it beats, you know, moving into a used home. They're not the only ones who love it here. The developer sold 120 homes last year and expects to raise that to 200 this year. Homes are selling even before they're built. <laughs> Workers carve out new lots every day. The neighborhood is getting closer to fulfilling the promise city leaders had for it. It was described as the future of Colorado Springs when the city annexed it in 1988 to be self-sufficient and have nearly 200,000 residents. Not on any lower scale. I, I think we'll, we'll probably scale it up. I think we'll do everything. Uh, we're, we're just looking to do everything big. We want to do everything right. But the resurgence here at Banning Lewis Ranch does raise some questions. Earlier this week, three members of the Colorado Springs City Council voted against a zoning change on a southern parcel of the development that will allow more homes to be built. The concerns are that there aren't enough affordable houses under $200,000 and that the neighborhood will be imbalanced with too many homes and not enough businesses. Convert that from what would have been a tax or a revenue income for the city and sales tax and turn it into residential, which now becomes a revenue burden for that. There's still time to make it all work out. But to expand out more, I don't want a, a big neighborhood. She may have to get used to it. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. And currently, there are around 400 homes in Banning Lewis Ranch. Rachel?